Here you see Smart V8.1 with four mics configured. This would be my processor controller. All outputs I'm going to use are set at minus 6 dB, 5, 6, and 7. And all mics are at 40 dB gain. So we're set to go. First, let's hit the signal generator when it's smart, pink noise running, and start by measuring subwoofer 1. As you can see, the phase trace goes down on the ray angle. Smart is not synchronized at any point, it's at 0 milliseconds. This subwoofer will be my reference, and all and subwoofer 2 and 3 need to be phase aligned with this one. Okay. I'll go to subwoofer 2, as you can see the phase trace goes down under a different angle. This one needs delay to be phase aligned with subwoofer 1. Store this trace as subwoofer 2. Ok, there you go. And move on to subwoofer 3. Even more level in the magnitude response and the phase angle indicates this needs even more delay to be met to be phase aligned with subwoofer 1. So store this trace, sub 3 start or something. And now I'll take the store traces stored traces of subwoofer 2 and 3 off my screen and start phase aligning in this case subwoofer 3. Go to the controller and start with adding delay to subwoofer 3. First I need to enable the delay on every channel. Ok, here you go. And start delaying subwoofer 3. And I'll keep adding delay until the phase trace matches with the phase trace of subwoofer 1. Just about there, a little bit more. So by adding 8.5 milliseconds of delay, the phase trace of subwoofer 3 matches the phase trace of subwoofer 1. So it's phase aligned. Do the same with subwoofer 2. Start adding delay until the phase trace matches the phase trace of subwoofer 1. We're almost there. A little bit more. And so subwoofer 2 is matching now with subwoofer 1 and the phase trace. And that means it's phase aligned with subwoofer 1. Okay, now let's add subwoofer. Oh no. I want to store this trace. Sub start, front mic. Now I'll add uh, subwoofer 2, and I'll, I would expect a rising level, and it does. A little bit more than 6 the B. Yeah. So this trace got stored. Sub 1 plus 2. Now we'll add sub 3. There you go. Even more level. And store this trace. And sub 1, 2, 3. As you can see, I have about 13 to 14 dB of addition by adding the every sub. Uh, better said, summing all subs together gives me at the front mic about 14 dB addition. Well, that's cool, that works. Okay, now let's take a look at what's happening at the rear mic position, near field. That would be the orange trace. The green trace is the front mic, also near field. The 
first let's capture this trace for reference and after capturing it we'll add sub over 2 that's the one with in this case 4 point something millisecond of delay on it ok so if I add sub over 2 you'll see addition out front, that will be the green trace and in the 50 to 65, 67 cycle range you'll see reduction that's nice so store this trace for reference and add sub over 3 so by adding sub over 3 you'll see in the 80 cycle range a reduction 50 to 65 has moved a little bit up but is still lower than the blue trace which was the solo responsive subwoofer 1 you can see a little bump at 110 so you might want to low pass this array at about 80 to 100 cycles ok, now let's take off store traces and take a look at the difference between front to back that's about 12 to 14 dB in level difference front to back it works now let's take a look at the far field mics the following screen capture will show you in the top screen the near field mics front and back and in the bottom screen you'll see the far field mics also front and back well there you go on the bottom screen that's subwoofer 1 at subwoofer 2 gives you a cancel at 63 in this case adding subwoofer 3 takes down 40 hertz 63 is up again and 80 hertz goes down by about 30 to be uh, front to back were about matched the back had on one sub a little bit more level now let's add sub over 2 and let's take coherence blanking down for a moment and at 63 61 cycles it goes down by about 20 30 dB let's take 25 for this moment at sub over 3 comes up again so at 40 you're about 22 dB down which is a nice number then at 60 you're about 13 14 dB and at 80 Hz about 27 well it works enjoy